Hi everyone, Dan here. It's been quite a while since my last video with the Minolta XGM. So in this video, I'll be showing you what I've been doing with the Minolta XGM and the XG9 that were kept hidden for over 15 years in that box I just took from my car. Well, you see, my dad just never used them after he bought them years ago as a package from a flea market in Europe. So yeah, I took them for a repair. Uh, here, I was actually getting them back. And this repair shop turns out to be a rather popular one in the photography scene in Jakarta, especially among the analog film camera users. Four out of five people that I asked uh, on where I could repair my film cameras, they recommended me that I should get them repaired by this man right here. His name is uh, Pak Rudi, and you can find his shop in Senayan Trade Center. Yes, Masterlands. Uh, he's a uh, Masterlands. <laughs> So he worked quite fast actually, it took him just 3 working days to clad both my cameras and honestly, now they look and feel better than I first found them hidden in the camera bag I showed earlier. So here I was uh, checking it out and you know, just clicking here and there, opening a couple of things and testing out the flash as well, you know, whether the hot shoe was working or not. And they look really fine to be honest. So, you know, what I did was basically I put a Potra 400 inside my HDM so that I could start shooting. And as you can see here later, basically trying to put the, uh, you know, uh, the film, the film inside the camera, and I was having quite a hard time because, you know, I don't shoot analog that often, so I need to get used to this by, you know, using them more often, right? So yeah, uh, you know, managed to put it, um, put it in uh, after a couple of uh, seconds, and uh, you know, just to try whether I put it properly, I decided to just shoot, uh, you know, Barudi with his shops. Uh, as my first shot with this uh, repaired clad uh, XGM. So this is what happened. <laughs> of course, it's, it's the first uh, first frame, right? Uh, I guess uh, I haven't went in. I, I didn't put it in uh, too deep, but uh, it was still working, uh, so it's good. Yeah. So uh, one fine day, I took the SGM to shoot run Bundaran Hai. Uh, there are many pedestrians crossings around the area, and I've been trying to collect photos that revolve around pedestrian crossings. This one in particular is one of my favorite. How to go quick, they don't wanna get into any accidents or any worse scenario if I stood there until the light went green for the cars. Uh, but yeah, I think I got my shots, you know. Uh, I came back there quite uh, often uh, after this uh, and shot a couple of more. You see, you know, you, you need to shoot uh, more often in order to, you know, get uh, the, the shots that you really want, you know, the, the moment that uh, you really want in your frame. But the spots, they, they'll never leave, right? The people around will leave, but not the spot. So find a good spot, find a couple of good spots and shoot around, uh, sorry, shoot in those spots as often as you can, basically. That's how basically I practice my photography these days. Uh, so this is another crossing, and this crossing is another interesting one, actually. Uh, yeah, you see, that's basically what Jakarta is all about. And uh, you know, it's a metropolitan city. And back to the crossing with the hotel in the background, it has a rather classic architecture and those palm trees right I thought uh, I would be able to get some interesting shots over here and honestly looking at uh, the photos I got not so bad for this part I shot mainly with a 28mm lens and 
later on I use my 50mm lens as well just to see the difference between the dynamic difference between the lenses uh, when being used in this uh, crossings. Alright, I think I got the shot with this uh, dad and his baby. Time to leave, I guess. Well, nope. Decided to stay a little bit to get more shots because you never know what you're gonna get if you left or stayed, right? Uh, it was still a sunny afternoon. The sun was facing the faces of the people crossing towards me. So it was a perfect spot to get something different uh, compared to other parts of Jakarta. Talking about other parts of Jakarta, yes, I took some photos with the Minolta XGM uh, in different areas in Jakarta. So here they are. Alright, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, this is very important and this is also very awkward right now because this is the first time I'm showing my face uh, Yeah, as you can see in my previous videos, I don't do this <laughs> Well, the thing is, I thought I should share with you what I plan to do with this channel of mine uh, my approach to uh, you know, my future photography, etc uh, You know uh, thanks so much for those who have been watching my other videos previously and if you are still watching this video up until this very second thank you thank you so much i'm gonna need to grow my channel by having you guys watch my videos you know increase those watch time so yeah <laughs> thank you so much uh okay gonna make this very very short uh beginning of the year i started a hundred photos a day challenge and so far i think i'm doing great uh, I mean, I've been shooting 100 photos a day uh, without fail and you know, I'm probably gonna need some new external hard disk in order for me to keep those selected photos and yeah, actually meanwhile you can also follow me on Instagram, link in the description below uh, whereby, you know, on a daily basis, inside my Instagram story, I actually um, share, you know my selected photo of the day out of the 100 photos that I shot on that day, right? And yeah, uh, this YouTube channel hopefully will be more active as well. I really do want to show uh, more of, uh, you know, how my photography has been progressing. Uh, there will be more photo walks as well, especially with the Ricoh year 3 uh, I'll also be doing different things with my analog cameras uh, uh, and, you know, some other things like maybe Maybe like unboxing this package that, that just came all the way from Japan, right? <laughs> yep, cannot wait. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be very exciting. I hope you guys will enjoy the future videos as well. And you know, need you guys to do me a favor uh, by hitting the like button, the subscribe button, get updates, right? Uh, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Tschüss!